What's up, y'all? It's your boy Kwani, and today I will be discussing the truly devastating um, passing of Takeoff. There's a lot of feelings and a lot of emotions I have in regard to that. But first, I like to say I'm out here repping, uh, you know, Dekula, you know, shout out to uh, my Dekula gang, you know, one of three of my high school alma maters. That is a long story for another time. But my new album, Lost and Found 2, will be coming to all platforms November 30th. That's part of the reason why a lot of this whole thing kind of breaks my heart because Takeoff, Amigos, they're a lot of times a lot of my inspiration and the flows and the ad libs and everything when I go to create my rap music. So this will be interesting, but the Spotify pre save link is down in the. Check it out. Like subscribe comment share and let's get it So obviously with this whole, you know, take off one third of the Migos, you know, being shot in Houston over something as silly as playing a game of dice, it has a major impact, not just, you know, obviously my prayers and condolences to his family, you know, Quavo, take off the whole plan, the whole everything but it has a really major impact the migos is arguably one of the most successful rap trios of all time and they also influence a lot of people you know a lot of rappers that came after them including myself Obviously, this affects a lot of things that, you know, is going on with Quavo and Offset's career, you know, Offset had took a step back from the group for a while after some exchanges, you know, between them, you know, involving various scenarios and situations behind closed doors. And obviously, Quavo had just dropped an album with him. So, I, uh, that probably changes the trajectory of both of their careers and the path that they will lead forward. I am, you know, anxious to see if Offset and Quavo, you know, team back together, if they use this as a time to mend what is broken and, you know, kind of get back together, you know, as a duo, even though the third one, you know, that's that kind of always be looming over them that there is someone missing but i'm also pretty sure that they have enough recordings of him rapping to where they probably can just fill in the gaps but that's neither here nor there we are way too soon in the game in order to go there offset's getting ready to come out with his new album you know solo album so we'll hear we'll probably hear a a good bit of references to take off in there but i wanted to talk about personally what it means for me because there's been an epidemic of rappers and you know artists getting shot you know a lot of them over very stupid reasons i mean you have x you have pop smoke you have pmb rock and now take off I just feel like we have to take a step back and just acknowledge this pattern that's going on. 
personally as a rapper who is trying to break onto the scene well i'm not a rapper i'm more of an artist i sing and i rap but as an artist because pmb sung so breaking onto the scene it is very deeply concerning obviously and apparently we live in a time where People don't see a celebrity or somebody that, you know, most would think that many admire and think, I respect this person, you know, they represent something more than themselves. So I'm going to at least respect and honor that we actually live in a society today where they are saying this person is famous this person has a celebrity status and that is the person that i want to murder which is quite an interesting development i mean honestly gun violence has plagued america for so many years why there isn't more gun restrictions i don't know but that's neither here nor there. We're not gonna get political because I don't really care where your political affiliation is. I don't wanna see people getting murdered. We have school shootings, mall shootings, 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 just shooting every day, somebody getting killed. I mean, you know, you look at the news, I'm not sure for any other city, but you know, you look at Philadelphia news every single night, every single day of the month, there is somewhere between one to five and sometimes more than that people that got shot during, you know, the nighttime or we've had different harrowing events. I mean, high school shootings and college shootings were, you know, they were terrible enough to begin with. But, you know, we had the situation in Texas where 19 children were shot and killed because there has not been something done about the gun violence. I don't know what your political affiliation is, but it's a major issue and solve the issue isn't by throwing more guns out there. That's just going to end up with more people dead. It was the issue that started this whole thing in the first place. But enough of that, I kind of want to get into what it means personally for me as, you know, the whole world is grieving takeoffs murder you know and of course his family you know the people close that were close to him they're grieving it as well but i, I just want to take you through how i'm grieving the migos would take off you know definitely included it signified an entire era of my life you know from me middle school through high school you know they took up a, a majority of my playlists you know culture one and culture two those were whew, those were really good albums culture three was pretty good too but i at that point i had already made the decision that i was going to mainly only listen to gospel music and kind of wean off the secular music of course i still listen to it sometimes just for as reference to stay relevant in my own music even though my music is faith-based but that goes into another point I, he is a major influence i mean you hear my rap songs where i get that skirt i mean i get that from him you know the migos they changed the rap game and not just at a big level but for me personally so it kind of hits different you know when i hear a track that i did and you know i like it but i 
remember that the influences from that that person they're they're gone now the Migos really I mean if you listen to my music you'll probably pick up that my two biggest influences to my rap style is the Migos and Drake so with takeoff being gone it it definitely hurts it also just reminds you about how short life is so i will say this that you should be living life to the fullest it doesn't matter who you are if you have wealth fame or any of those things or if you are somebody who's just watching who is not in a good place at all, you're struggling financially, maybe you're homeless, maybe you're dealing with that struggle, maybe you're being abused, maybe you're being any, any, anything. But I wanna encourage you guys to really take a look and examine your life and not just for all the bad things, but you know, remember those good moments, the things that do cause you to keep pushing on and that give you strength. You know, the Bible says that the joy of the Lord is my strength. And that's not the cancellation of those things that are bad in life. But it's also saying that while there are bad things in life, there's also good and choosing on purpose to acknowledge the good and not let the bad weigh you down. So this one hurts and it's hard to look at this positively from hip hop to culture to anything. It's hard to look at it positively, but take a look at it and think, what are you gonna do? How are you gonna live your life? How are you gonna you know, continue on? Cause no matter what you do, matter what you go it could be the last day for you i'm pretty sure takeoff did not think that he was about to lose his life while playing dice there's no way that went through his head there's no way it would go through my head if i was in the situation so you guys you guys gotta live on purpose if you have a goal if you have a dream do it if you have people around you that love you, show love. There is nothing more important than this in this life than love and showing love and being love and being around people you love. And if you don't have nobody you love, well, then I'll let you know that God loves you. Jesus loves you. And you need to start moving towards a relationship with him because that, that'll that unlock a whole bunch of love and a whole bunch of opportunities and make your life a whole lot much more worth living. But that's regardless of that. This whole situation is tough. I'm praying for Offset. I'm praying for Quavo. I'm praying, praying for the whole family. And... This is, this is hard, but God is with us, so we will make it through. What's up, you guys? Hope you enjoyed watching. If this is your type of content, then like, comment, share your thoughts, and subscribe, and also hit that notification bar so you can be up to date when new content like this comes out. Also, make sure to follow me on social media, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, also TikTok, so that you can follow all of my endeavors. Also, if you want to listen to faith-based music, I have a link down below, it is to my Spotify, but if you don't listen to music on Spotify, you can also just look up Kwani, Q-U-O-I-N-Y, on any platform and my music will come up. So show love, support, and thanks fam, thanks for watching. Yeah, you a pro now, post it on your page if you get your light out.